space.
G'day. How's it going? G'day, g'day. Now, first thing I'm going to do is just turn to that volume. Wait a minute, turn that down a little bit. All right, how are we doing? Tez, I saw that earlier. How's it going? And Smitty, not playing a monkey with us tonight. Not tonight, no. I've promised this stream about four days this week, or three. And I always end up being too tired to do it. And today was my first day off all week. So, I don't really have an excuse today. And it's a very, very weird week. A very weird week indeed. Um, also, yeah, I didn't quite get my scheduling right. I forgot that I also had a video out today. So, uh, you get two bits of content today. It would have made more sense to, um, would have made more sense to spread it over, over the day. So I probably could have released the video tomorrow instead. But look, it's alright. You get two bits of content today. Tez, why no Among Us? Um, I don't know, don't really feel like it tonight. I wanted to, I've been wanting to do these daily races all week. And, uh, this is my first day off. So, I, I'm not that tired. I mean, I have work again in the morning, so, uh, you know, I guess, uh, probably can't stay up too late, but I figure we can go for at least two hours here. I'll be aiming for a two and a half hour mark there. I'm not going to be touching Daily Race B, so um, that knocks one race out. I'm going to give this race a go. This qualification time hasn't been too fantastic, so I am going to complete the lap. I had a penalty as well. I'm going to complete the lap and. Um, see what time it yields us. Starting from the back, I'm going to be starting pretty close to the back, yeah. I will be setting this time though, which will be a few seconds off the pace. Pretty sure world record pace is about 4.27, and that's 4.37. So we're just a cash 10 seconds off, and we're driving the Mitsubishi GTO. So it will certainly be uh, interesting. You'll join if I'm starting from the back. Look, with 4.37, I'll probably be starting pretty close to the back. And we get our first penalty. Let's I'll tell you what, let's do this. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Hello. No overhead light. How? <laughs> well. Well, well, well. How has that put me P2? Goodness me. <laughs> well, this daily race A is a bit dead, isn't it? Ten players. Ten. And I've got DS players in my lobby. That's DS rating, not Nintendo DS. That's got to be one of the quickest loading times I've ever had. And we're out on to track. Ah, uh, well, you know. We'll do our best. Uneven image, R4M. race ends up being, hey? So this is, of course, Circuit de la Sarthe. Circuit de la Sarthe. 
no chicanes as we run down a six kilometre straight. I think it's about six k's. Just let me know if the game is too quiet. Watching my previous streams, I felt the game was too loud, so I've turned it, uh, I've turned it down a little bit for this one. Right, I'm somehow P2 on this grid here. in. Right, so what am I doing into the chicane here? Outside or inside? I think I'm going to go outside. this one so a very short race A indeed that'll probably be a penalty yep one second goodness me Slipstream here. Oh, I feel like I'm going to get punted. I got punted or what? I wasn't looking. There's a car right on the inside where I wanted to break. It got in the way. So early on the brakes. That was way too early on the brakes. I punted him off. Looks like I'm dirty.
Well, that was dissatisfying. That was rather dissatisfying indeed. Full of carnage. Good. This is why. This is why I have a second account. I can tell you that won't be good for my driver rating. <laughs> Goodness me. Well, we've got a big gap until... Oh. Let's see if we get into this one. Let's see if we can get into this one. We had 16 seconds there. I think I got in. <laughs> I think I got in. Rightio, well. I'm actually very surprised I got into that race then. That's the PS5 for you. I would not have made that. I would not have made this race on the PS4 because the loading would have taken too long. But Nürburgring, hey? I was ready for a no. So was I. Well, let's see. I could still disconnect like I did the other day. But I was so ready for a no then as well. Generally, you needed to leave yourself about 30 seconds. On the countdown to, to get into the race on the PlayStation 4. And that was 16 seconds and I got in. Ranger Oz is here and Ballistic Ben. I tell you, Ballistic Ben's been grinding the, this race this week. Seven minutes point seven. See, I, re I should really have a time like that. Dipping into the seven minutes would be cool. But no, it's 7.03 for me. But as long as I don't mess this up, this should be a decent race, actually. Ranger Oz is always very good to race against. Ballistic Ben, you know, he's a little bit more all over the shop, but I think he's fast enough. He's fast, but I don't think he's that great at wheel-to-wheel -wheel battling. And then who, who else have we got? High Stakes... Average, Fat Daddy, yeah, Nick Mannequin, I seem to remember racing him quite a lot back in the day, but uh, he's taken this one from the back, good luck to him, that was the alternative title this stream, not one you take from the back, but uh, I don't know how uh, YouTube Terms of Service would have taken that title. Also made a bit of an upgrade to my stream deck. I got a slightly longer cable, which means it's much more accessible to me now, which is good.
Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's not do that in the race. I know where I went wrong. I broke too early for that awkward right-hand where you can get air. We'll do another race A later because I would like to get comfortable in that car. It's Le Mans, of course. There I am, P3. That Subaru could potentially be quite quick off the line. I'm not 100% sure how it is. I know the Super in fifth is pretty crap. And it's a standing start, I believe. Don't know if you need that traction control, but we'll try it anyway. No, we don't. Yeah, look at the Subaru! Super is so quick off the line. Slipstream up ahead now, that's the problem. Maybe they'll fight. Gaining a lot of time there. I've lost time through that section. I suppose this is my first lap. Rapid. Morning, evening, whatever. G'day. G'day, g'day. Evening for me. 7.30pm. Also morning, evening to you. Whatever, whatever it may be. Is it... Is it a lunchtime where you are? This race is definitely looking to be a fourth place because I'm stretching away from the guy behind and the three up ahead are driving away. I suppose uh, shouldn't write the race off. Or the car for that matter, we shouldn't do that either.
pretty good carousel then. Gained a couple of tenths. That's as late as you can possibly break into there too. I nearly fell out the top of it. are on stalks through this area. This is the scene of the accident right there where I beached a BMW M4 into the sand out of a manufacturer series race. Lost 280 points. some definition of a coming together there. Because they've all lost time up ahead. Alright. Stop wishing your life away in Oz. <laughs> oh dear. You're contemplating going to Toyota the last season on GTS myself. I'm considering BMW again, however, I, I want to test out the M6 in Group 3, because the M4 in Group 4 felt really awesome. That was the car for me, um, and I could even feel safe in it, which I hate doing, but the Z4 was no good. But I think if I can get better results in the Group 3 stages, I think BMW can probably work. Ink soil. Hello. I agree. It's about time you caught me live. Doing a little chill daily race stream here. Or two thirds of the week. Daily race B. I, you couldn't pay me to touch, unfortunately. Daily Race A and Daily Race C are both, well, Daily Race A is okay in, in saying it's a fun race, but we can't expect anything good. In Daily Race C, at least it's the uh, Nürburgring, which is at least fun to lap, so two out of the, two out of the three sort of uh, are bearable. Lap a little bit, unfortunately. That gap's 2.7 ahead now. And even Bakura's catching up. definitely catching up. 1.8 now. Yeah. Could we'll have a bit of a battle at the end of this one.
very good corner there. Another good sequence there. Gap to 2.4 now. I'll read the chat in a minute. It's sort of hard to look away. scary when you get it wrong. Very good, we got through there. Nice. Okay, chat. Yes, big MW is another possibility. And I'm the same with the M6 as it can be sketchy. Yeah, I definitely want to try and get comfortable with it before the season if I do end up choosing it. Because I know it is a I know it's a very sketchy car, a bit like the Supra. A bit like the Supra. Really fun circuit, but it's hard to race other people because it's so tight. Exactly. That's kind of the issue with this race this week. But if you can, um, if you can start from the front, if you can start from the front. It's not so bad, but it's not one you want to start from the back. Looked like an awesome race at the front, but I was just a little bit lonely. A little bit lonely, unfortunately. 
you lose him in the twiggly sectors. I think I did a little bit. What was the gap in the end? Four seconds, so that's good. This track is endurance track with pit stops to make a proper race of it. Exactly. Two laps is essentially time trial. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's not a sprint race track at all. You, you can't race another car all through the entire lap. You've got 20 kilometres of no overtaking. Normally the fun of starting from the back is that you get to overtake people, but you can't. You can't at this combo, so... Uh, I think it loses a little bit of... Um, the allure. Of starting from the back. See, I lost a position there right at the start, and then they drove away, so fair play to them. See what Ballistic Ben Ranger Oz have to say. Ranger Oz seems happy. Thanks for the race. <laughs> See, I race Ranger Oz in FIA sometimes. Ballistic Ben, too. That was by far the best racing I've had all week. Wow. Should have added Ranger Oz there too. <laughs> cool, let's get out of here. Okay, well. Seven viewers, that's not bad. Got ten minutes to this race, A. Eh? I want to do a little bit of time trial on this and enter. And we've got to go red, so I'm not clickbaiting you with the thumbnail. I tell you what, I'm just going to experiment with something with the sound. Um, let's see if I can see it for myself as well. When we get out onto the track. I bought the new PlayStation Pulse 3D headphones. Basically, oh, these ones here. I've got the box. Oh, yes. Those ones there. Pulse 3D. Pulse 3D. And they're really good, actually. They come with, they come with an aux cable, which I'm using now to plug into this long... Aux extension that runs into my monitor, which is actually just my TV. So that's how I get my sound because on the PlayStation 4, if you plugged your headphones into the controller, the stream then wouldn't get the game sound for some reason. But uh, I want to see if the stream gets game sound if I connect my headphones wirelessly to the console. So I'm just going to do this and start revving the engine. Probably still hear it now. Let me just turn the headphones on. I'll stop that for a minute. I don't think you can hear that now. Is that right? I don't think you can hear that. So, that doesn't work. Well, lucky it has aux connection. Eight, hour, eight, eight laps is an hour's worth of racing in Group 4. You should be able to hear the game again. Uh, eight hours is an hour... Oh, hang on. Eight laps is an hour's worth of racing in Group 4, but it requires a lot of concentration and will be good. Correct, yeah. It's fine, so it's the same, same thing in the world, but I've got to work around for the sound, which works okay. Oh, Ballistic! G'day! Me, Ranger, and Estimated had a great race. It looked awesome. I was sitting behind. I had the best seat in the house for it. Shame I couldn't be there this time. I don't feel, I don't quite feel as sharp as I would earlier in the day, so I'm maybe just a little bit off. Yeah, Estimated started behind me, and he got the better launch off the, off the grid. Drove straight past me into turn one, and then that was the last I saw of him. I'm 
a nail biter. Yeah, it looked great. A little disappointed I couldn't be part of it, but um, that's okay. It's all good. You've been uh, you've been grinding. You were sitting back if you crashed. I was right there to pick up pieces. That's right, but. I'll tell you what, fair play to the three, three of you for keeping it together at the Nürburgring. Such a tight circuit to race, just one other car, let alone two others, so the three of you together were doing very well. Uh, but as Rapid was saying before, I think Rapid's actually just taking the words out of my mouth. Petey can have an addition to dailies and have monthly insurance categories too. Yeah, the 86 is not... Um, that great off the line and WX is one of the best. There you go. That explains it. Um, Rapid, I was actually going to make the same thing. I definitely think there needs to be an expansion to the daily race. I think there needs to be two more because there's definitely, I think there's definitely an audience for longer races. Like I, I would totally sit and enter and connect and do a, a 40 or 50 minute race in daily races just as I would the daily race C, B or A. You know, you've got a and B, A generally is a road car race, so if you like road cars, that's your race. Oh dear, I've driven straight off there. I'm going to continue the lap, because uh, I want to get the practice in. Um, but yeah, I definitely think there could be an expansion, so you've got your road cars and daily race A for your very casual, you know, just people that want to jump into a car they like and have a race. You've got Daily Race B, which is a quick sprint race, normally in a Group 3 or Group 4 car. Um, so that's good. Daily Race C is your mini sort of sprint race with a little bit of strategy in there. I definitely think there could be a Daily Race D. Maybe 40 minutes endurance, you know. Daily Race E, maybe even a one hour endurance and have an entry period every one and a half hours. Again. I'll go now I may just get one more lap in here but yeah three races especially when there's no FIA it's just hardly anything it's not that much content I mean I suppose that comes down to not having oh crying out loud crying out loud they would add another lap because we finished 10 minutes before the next one. Yeah, I actually agree. I think the problem is that the lower splits, their race is going to be a lot longer. I think their laps are going to be closer to the 8 minute mark, which means a 16 minute race. And if you add another lap, you've got a 32 minute race. So they miss the next entry period. That's the problem with Nürburgring is you, you know, as you get lower down, the race is getting longer and adding one extra lap means that the slower races perhaps could miss the entry period. Daily D could be a 30 minute in probably a group X they've never used. You know you know what would be cool? If they did a vote the previous week. Like like you say, that maybe daily race D could be a dedicated one make daily race slot. So we know there's always gonna be a one make something for daily race D. That frees up Daily Race A to be maybe Bop Open Garage N300 or something. Um, it would open up a lot more variety. And you can vote a car the previous week. And, you know, with the number of players, I'm sure there could be a majority reached. Or uh, just even if they can't, just, just list them. And then that means the next week, or maybe, maybe they do it a month in advance or something. That means their race next week could be the card chosen by majority. And then maybe, to save spammers, they could maybe lock out a car for a month. If it's been chosen, like say we drive a bit fishy, it won't happen again in the next month. How's that for an idea? I had to 
penalty there, that's why I stopped so early. Yes, yes. And then maybe daily race E, a one and a half hour enduro, maybe group one or something. Or group two. Or it could be anything, but maybe more so group one or two. And group group bloody C needs to be its own thing, I'm telling you now. I've said this since they were introduced to the game. Because they've got group B, so they're not afraid of using letters. The cars in real life are called group C. And they're not LMP1 cars. bucks to use my brain, do they? But then maybe that in, maybe the endurance races could be timed, like a timed race. Obviously you'd probably get the same number of laps each time, but at least uh, you know exactly how long the race would be, and then add a finish timer. different than the McLaren I drove last week. <laughs> Sam Omega, first of all, welcome to the stream. Can I join? You absolutely can. Oh, Woken Beast in the house. Let's go. Um, yeah, you absolutely can. These are the daily races. Um, so they're open to everyone that has PlayStation Plus. So you can enter sport mode and you can join these races. I'm in the Asia Oceania region. If you're in Europe or America, you'll be grouped into the EMEA or the Americas. Um, so you may not race me, but you can do this race yourself. If you are, of course, Australian or Asian, um, you can absolutely join this. And if your rating is, I guess, S rated SR, you'll probably get into this lobby. Oh, Lapwing is here as well. I know him. Heard FIA doing a review on the last race. Are you referring to F1? Formula 1? Or are you making, a, are you making some backhanded joke about the race I just did? Uh, if it's F1, yeah. That will be interesting, won't it? Woken Beast. Hi, YouTube. Hello, Woken Beast. We've Woken Beast. And Lapwing, too. I know Lapwing. He's, he's cool. <laughs> Snooper GT. I'm going to say hello, viewers. I didn't get the message in in time. <laughs> it's actually a thing. Yeah, I, I, if you're referring to F1, yeah, detailed analysis. That will be excellent reading, won't it? I made a tweet the other... Oh, uh, I'll talk about that after. I'll talk about after. But I probably need to focus on driving this car to keep it on the road. It's so floaty. But yeah, I'll be looking forward to that report. It definitely needs to be some adjustments, let's say. I got punted, I got punted, I got punted again. Oh, I'm here, mate. Oh, I turned 
in way too late there. doesn't mind a small short shift at some of the gears. See, we're all in slipstream here, which is why I'm not really gaining too much. Bump him. Because if I just pulled out, I would lose out. The speedo only goes to 180. <laughs> oh, someone's getting run off the road. We could catch right up here. Let's not lack of a better term, hock up the braking. Get out for the brake lights. I'm off to throttle now. Oh, I could have gone up the inside there. Lap wing's been sent. Poor lap wing. <laughs> What's he doing? Stop turning into me. Stop hitting me. I'm crying out loud. Hit me one more time and I'm running you into the dirt. Oh. Are you serious? Honestly, man, Minion King Bob, what is wrong with you? Did he kill Lapwing too? Because I think he killed Woken Beast. That's three people in one lap. Honestly, man, what are you doing? <laughs> Good shit. <laughs> Hello, GTR. Lovely to see you too. Or should I say GDR? GDR. Um, Sam, this is Daily Race. Daily Race A, so it's free for you to enter. As long as you have PlayStation Plus. Woken Beast got fourth in the end. Latwing and I got shafted there. What are we doing here? Racing or ping pong? What is he doing? Oh no! What What the hell? I was going to say another word there, but not on stream. I'm going to say something to him, eh? I'm saying something to him. I'm going to be like, what? Are you joking?
I'm sorry, you can't... Is this too harsh? <laughs> oh dear. Can't even type it. I swear I've never botched it that badly before. Oh no. That's all right. Oh, I, I thought, um, oh, so you weren't, you weren't punted there. You just broke too late. <laughs> Likewise, handsome. How are you? Beautiful, mate. Beautiful. Well, I'm left dissatisfied. But I think maybe... We've got a long entry period here. Maybe I can improve my lap here. I might do that. So the 20... 20.30 there, so 8.30. I've got 20 minutes until the race. Imagine wheel banging, then punting them under brakes, then saying I'm sorry. Oh no, that's why I was, uh... That's why I was probably quite harsh on him. But, uh... Because <laughs> he he got rid of Woken Beast as well, I think, and I thought he did. I thought he punted off Lapwing as well. Uh, I'm going to enter this entry period here. Um, I can't imagine it actually. It's not something I'd do. No, you don't need to improve. Ah, I want to though. <laughs> I think you need to improve, Tez. What's my optimum here? 702. I'd really, really like to sort of get a low 701. Because Ranger Rolls is normally a pretty good marker of my pace. So if he's in the seven minutes, I probably should be too. <laughs> Logan Beast is a wanker. <laughs> Oh, lap wing, oh no, I'm just bad. Oh, it's alright. Those cars are a bit, uh, a bit difficult, so don't be too hard on yourself. Unfortunately, when you get punted off at Porsche curves, there's not much you can do to recover it, which is what happened to me. Oh, is that deep? Do a six fifty nine. Not if I do that. Wait, the day I get a six fifty nine, I don't even know. Because it's never gonna happen. Unless I'm in a different category. Too well here.
shit's up there. I've had a good amount of success in race A this week. And I've been building up the alt. So I've only seen DRBs and Cs. Yes. Still, I take what I can get. Lovely. Urban rings a pain in the ass on controller. Oh yeah, it is. It's so difficult. Because all the, I think all the controls are sort of smoothed out on the controller, so it can be hard to kind of react to the car, touching the grass or something. Um, the wheel's definitely really good for precise motions. But saying that, there are people that have gotten the world tours and stuff on the controller, so it is possible. But it's definitely a handicap. Very good carousel then. through there or really bad. I think it was actually really good because that's three tenths and then I mess it up by talking. Corner of death. going to be no improvement. He who says he can and he who says he can't are usually both right. Huh. Inspirational quotes of the TX3 GTR. I suppose you don't become a TX3 driver from saying you can't. The difference is, is that I know that I can't. I've got no issue saying I can't. That never happened. That never happened. in the race we're doing daily race oh I know what you mean enter yeah after this lap
<laughs> GTR. Why be rude? Bringing that back. Not that it ever went away. Only the real OGs understand that reference. so far. Just make sure we get it stopped for these upcoming corners. spin so easily at that corner I was ready to react at any moment it's never going away no I don't think it is is it it's probably gonna end up becoming a, an emote on the channel when I unlock those I'll make a why be rude graphic nice for me not to bin this lap. I think that'll be really cool.
Okay, let's bring this home. I wonder what my cumulative split time is. I guess we'll find out. Because that sector 9 wasn't fantastic. Best here, guard. There's a 702. Okay, well, that's an improvement. What did I have before? 703.4? So we improved by a second there. Least review when he gets 659. <laughs> okay. Alright, you're on. HC Nismo Nath. Hello. He's on the board now. Alright, we'll go and enter the race. <coughs> Hang on, we'll just see what the... Six fifty-five. For crying out loud. Rafal M. What an OP monster. Metal Gear AB rated. What's he been up to? Probably his usual antics. Nice improvement. Thank you. Yeah, that felt like an okay lap. I could definitely shave at least another second off there. Woke and be slow, I know, right? Get good, mate. Right, let's uh, get a few more minutes of practice in. Rafal is a god around here. Yeah, it seems like it. Man's insane. I would have liked to have a line like that and a line more like this on my lap. But like the famous philosopher Jagger once said, you can't always get what you want. Only legends know where that's from. doing dailies from the back and got into a few too many incidents. Oh dear. I have several questions. Why was he doing that on his main? That's my main question. That uh, seems a bit silly. And why would you start the Nürburgring daily race purposely from the back? On your main. Two of the best around here. Danny is going to be in here. 
that's all right. He knows how I feel about um, Holland, it's fine. about DR because Jesus 7's on the way. Fair enough. But it's not being confirmed whether we carry over or not. I'd, I would be surprised if we do. But you never know, we still might. Holland was a god around here during the GT4 days. Yeah, I've, I've seen some of his laps on YouTube. It's really um, incredible. Oh, I know what you mean now. Danny's going to be in here. He's going to be in the next race. Now I gotcha. Now I gotcha. H313N4 Lorny is Danny Racing for those that aren't aware. He's got a 659. Good thing, good job. He's done a face reveal, have, have, isn't it? I'd be annoyed if we do carry over. I would be surprised if we do. I would say we reset because you'd have to start a new a new game. You have to create a new profile for GT Seven because if you carry over, what else do you carry over? Because, um, you know, Kudos Prime keeps track of your races as well. And your history. Like, if you carry your DR and SR, do you carry your DR and SR history? Do you carry the number of races you completed? Do you carry the fastest laps then? You know, I would say we probably don't. And I guess, um... I guess it's probably safe to assume that we won't. So, I guess I understand that part of uh, Metal Gear's thinking. Is that everyone I know? Yeah. Because it would be f weird in GT7 for you to carry over and then in sport mode have it display like oh, 200 wins on your first race in a new game. So I definitely agree it probably won't make too much sense. <laughs> we shouldn't because it's a new game. Exactly. Got Chupagetti behind you as well. What's he driving? 86. Oh, no! WRX. He's going to get past me. Although I think I'm starting on the inside this time. Is that right? Yes. So, I may keep the position. Actually, good job I improved that lap then. Because I would have been sixth if I didn't improve my lap there. Sixth view in chat. Don't forget to... Uh, Follow. Did that work? Oh, well. oh, never mind.
right. I know that Super is not fantastic in the line, so I should be able to keep in the slip here. Just have to be very careful coming up to this corner. Lifting off right as I turn in. That was a much better Arenberg then. here is he's probably going to have filthy tyres um, but there's no space for me to get past. See? Oh. He's on the ragged edge. Yes, I'm just in the slipstream. Didn't get the best corner and I'm still in the slipstream. I should gain quite a bit up here. That's a moment. Getty. Don't get a penalty. Hey, what? A visual distraction through here is so difficult.
Oh no! Ah oh, dear. I knew that had happened. Why do I always wreck good things? Oh, get it, Lounsey. Let's go, smokescreen. Yeah, let's go and bloody put it in a barrier. Let's go and do that, hey? It's so disappointing. Just disappointed night. Oh, ha! <laughs> I had nine viewers, I look up and it goes down to seven. I've got a battle woken beast to get back to Chupagetti. Green goldfish is doing well. Coming straight.
let's not wreck this section. Death. That's all you can do there. It's giving him a good bump. I hope I don't lose out because of that. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, what an awesome end of that race. <laughs> oh. Oh dear. I thought I threw that race down the toilet. Now why? Is that not working? Oh, there, now it's working. Oh dear, goodness me. GG. Thank you, thank you. Woken Beast did well as well. That's the power of slipstream in this game. That wasn't a clean race, apparently. Probably because I went into the barrier. That'll do it, won't it? Oh, yeah. No worries, Chupagetti. Thanks for the race. Danny came third in the end. Do I do race C again? Yes. Yes, I do. Let's get a livery for this car. That's what I'll do. I've had enough of this. Livery time.
Okay. Livery. We'll just pick a couple of nice ones. Well, that's a meme, isn't it? That's kind of cool. Bick. Dove. Oh, it's got anime on it. You're just me. Hey, that's pretty cool. <laughs> That should make a video. Well, it's made the stream, so... What the... So, yeah, we'll, uh... I mean, it's kind of... Kind of cool in its own sort of unique way. That one. That's cool as well. Nah. That's cool. Kellogg's. <laughs> An eerie is livery. It's got YouTube on it. It'd probably have eerie is on the back. Chupagetti racing on his brand new TGT2. Ah, that's interesting. It's got Rory on the car, so I can't run that. I'm assuming he's streaming. How's he finding it? That's, that's cool. Alright, that, that'll do. We'll put one of those on the car. How's he finding the TGT2 then is? What are the main, um, what are the main upgrades? On the TGT2 compared to the one? That racing point livery is so clean. Just so clean. Might run this one actually. It's kind of cool, quirky, a bit different. All right. Just gonna go for a quick personal pit stop. We'll be right back.
We're back. Oh. There we go. Now we're properly back. I think I'm about I'd be about time for a wheel upgrade I reckon this is this is my last uh, G29 replacement on the warranty so when this one breaks I have to buy a new wheel I'm hoping it lasts until tax time this year but I don't think that's gonna quite happen I'm hoping it lasts till GT7 but I don't think that's quite gonna happen so I don't know, I think I'll be looking at a wheel upgrade in the next few months. I think this is my fourth wheel in two years, because they just keep breaking. I definitely agree that um, this wheel, the G29, is the best value for money. Because it's an entry level wheel. But the, the level of upgrade that it brings for $400 is just incredible and I'd recommend it to anybody. Um, but it's not the most reliable. Check Discord, righty eh? Check Discord. Goodness me. So... I think I can show this on stream. This is uh, this is Ballistic Ben's driver rating. For those who don't know, that's really really good. That's um, eighty eight thousand. And he doesn't do FIA. Man could do very well if he did FIA. But, I mean, the question is, is he actually, I don't want to sound, uh, I'm not trying, to, there's no underlying uh, idea when I say this, um, is he actually an 88,000 driver rating driver, or does he just win enough daily races to be that high? If you look at my driver rating, I tend to plateau. At, miles, at milestones. I think I've got air there. I tend to plateau at milestones. I can't exit. Um, but that's really only because I do FIA on my main account now that I'm in the 60,000s. But then this second account is just my daily races. Doesn't, um, doesn't mean anything. Doesn't, it's not too, it's not too much importance. But yeah, I reckon he could do quite well if he did FIA. I 
don't know what wheel I'll upgrade to. I don't know. Because I don't know if I want to, like, future-proof myself a bit and sort of spend big and have it last a few years. Or if I want to get, like, a 923, which I think has a lot of the same pedal problems as the G29. Um... But I think the G923, how much is that? Let me look it up. $450. Is that right? Yes. $450. So you don't know if I want to spend that amount on a 923. Um, just to sort of have the same pedal problems. Or, or whether I should actually upgrade to an entry level Fanatec or something. Or even a Thrustmaster, but I've always said I'm not going to buy Thrustmaster because of their pedal problems. But I don't know, have they solved it? It's about $100 more. So $550. Or $100 more than the G29. You got mine for $500. Right, okay. Maybe I was looking at a discount price. Where am I starting? I'm starting 5th now. Potentially 6th because I've got another WRX behind me. Save it for a TGT2 or a DD Pro. Yes. That's what I was sort of thinking. I move straight across here. Dummy around the outside. <laughs> Fair enough. That's okay. DD Pro would be cool, because I think DD stands for Direct Drive, if I'm not mistaken. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Right up his trumpet here. Touch him. Still the slipstream there. is holding me up here. Let's see if I can force him into an arrow with a bit of headlight action. I bumped him there, I can't go past. Oh! I 
I'll lure Chupagetti off. Whoops. <laughs> slip that's handy this Subaru man is just walking me a bit but at least I guess I'm a good distance behind him now blew it through that corner Chupagetti's made another mistake. Getting held up majorly here. Carousel. I don't know if there was any contact there. Mm. I'll pick up a slip somehow here. It's not going to be from the Subaru. Don't know if there was contact there, that's awkward. Um, didn't feel like it. Subaru's got the slipstream off Ballistic Bend, so. good at turn one here.
these two have it coming together. little bit of mistake in the braking zone there. was understeer. Oh dear. Lost half a second there. I was going to say, I thought that was a good carousel, but then I've lost time on the exit, so it wasn't. Who up ahead are going to need to battle significantly if I want the slipstream. annoying. No, 
No slipstream for me. Oh. I didn't get held up by that Subaru. Maybe I could have been close enough. Because <laughs> look at him, he's seven seconds behind me now. Oh, dear. It's the frustrating thing about this race. Only four seconds off Danny, though. 4.6. Could be bigger. Ah, oh. the frustrating race when that happens. I just got stuck behind that. Um, Subaru in six for the first lap, and I just wasn't close enough and lost the slip. And I couldn't get it back despite a pretty clean second lap. Dear, little bit frustrating, but that's all right. Oh, what have we got? What have we got? Oh, I'm not making that race. <laughs> Okay, well, it's going to be one more race C, and then I'm probably going to call it, because I have work in the morning. Because I have work in the morning, and that, um, I don't want to be too tired for it. I really should be in bed now, but that's all right. That's the problem with this race, isn't it? Just, you get stuck behind people. you got to qualify good. See, I'm curious about that Subaru, but... With all my practice in the 86, I don't think I can just jump straight to the Subaru and sort of be quick enough. But we've got enough time for a lap here. That. You can take that corner flat if you do the grass line.
at that same sector the split. Well, that's how easy it is to spin. <laughs> oh dear. I don't know if we'll quite get a full lap in here. Try something different for turn one here. I don't know how that goes. I think I broke a bit too early. Not a good first sector. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. And that's what happens when you catch the grass at high speed in this game. Flamboyant, but slow. 1.4 seconds. Now I'm paranoid at that corner. Half a second down, jeez. doing this race isn't such a good idea because I can feel myself getting tired I'll do it anyway like a very good carousel but it was probably crap
take turn in there. Oh, Atom! Raid, Raid, Raid. Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Realm Legends. What? That was Among Us. Sorry I didn't join tonight. I, I've had ambitions of this stream. Had ambitions of doing this stream all bloody week. And I just haven't been up to it. Then, day off today. So, I didn't really have an excuse. Well, look at that. You all join, and I crash. But this race starts in 20 seconds. The old, um... The old Twitch to YouTube raid. Shite was pretty lit. Oh, that's good. That's excellent to hear. It's alright. I know what my night would have been anyway. It would have been me getting killed first. Getting sussed out first when I was imposter. That's if I got an imposter at all. But that's alright. I think I... Uh... Save myself the emotional turmoil of not being able to, to outsmart you all. Last minute for Hyper and Ica. All good. All good. No, you definitely um, definitely do not have to revolve your plans around me or anyone else. Just like I don't have to revolve my plans around anyone else. The old two-way street. The old two-way street. But this stream has been, it's been a bit quiet, but that's okay. Oh, we've just been doing, I did a couple of daily race A's. They were both absolutely full of carnage, uh, including me getting angry at someone in the chat, not on the track, um, like the game chat, the, the game chat down the bottom there, not my stream chat. Um, some questionable on track activities. Daily Race B um, is crap, so I haven't touched that, and I'm not going to. And the Daily Race C is where the good racing's at. However, you must qualify at the front, which I've managed to kind of do with a 702. Look at that, makes so much sense. It rhymes. We've got Danny here in his uh, Lorny account. I don't even know what Lorny means. Uh, but we're like, the race we just had... Um, I started in front of a Subaru, which has um, one of the best launches in Group 4. The 86 has one of the worst. So if you start directly in front of a Subaru, they're going to overtake you by turn 1. And that happened in the last race. And I got stuck behind them all lap. And then it meant I wasn't close enough to be in this slipstream battle for P2. So a bit frustrating. But that's all right. We move on to this one where we once again <laughs> start in front of the bloody Subaru. Ballistic Ben. He's actually been racing good tonight. I'll give him that. He's on 88,000 DR from grinding this race. Or, um, you know, yeah, from grinding this race. Watch the Subaru. That was the one that caused me grief last time as well. Didn't leave him any room. <laughs> but I'm faster than him by a margin of seven to eight seconds per lap, evidenced by the last race. I don't know if he'll be that happy with that.
but he's just about in slipstream. <laughs> yeah, look, I don't know how great that manoeuvre was by me. I definitely um, didn't relieve him any space. But look. It's eyes forward. I think that was a pretty good chicane, man. try and get in the slip of these two. They're going to drive away down this straight bit coming up. Or is that... Have I done enough there? I haven't quite, have I? Oh, man. The old one-tenth. The old one-tenth. Does it to you? went then, as you could tell. I'm one tenth out of the slipstream by the straight. I'm gonna be mad. Here's the dip of death. I'm going to that gravel trap and dig up all my hopes and dreams. I've lost a bit of time through there. 
I just have no confidence through that dip. anyone else's fault. One tenth out of slipstream during that lap. That was frustrating. Ballistic Ben's managed to defend down, down the straight too. Fair play. And I'm not very good through turn one, just in general, in this car. Joking. Oh man. You're absolutely joking. You have got to be pulling on my leg. What a stupid penalty. Oh dear. I need to catch up to them, overtake the both of them, and gain a second to keep this position. Oh, especially difficult if I do that. Oh dear, they're just too quick for me to pair up ahead. That was a really good right hander, really good hairpin. I gained about two tenths. But it's to no avail. 
my attempts are futile. Maybe I need second gear then. Oh no. Oh dear. I'm just not, just don't quite have it. I'm just not quite fast enough for the two ahead of me. I'm going to serve the penalty now. Penalty, disgusting. I know, dirty driver. I can't believe it. Oh, I just went the smidgen bit too wide at the opening of the lap. Like in that twisty first section. Oh. oh dear, cheeky grass tactic. <laughs> no. What grass tactic? I would never. Oh dear. Probably call it. I think I'll call that a night there. I do have a strange, unique liking for this livery though. It's like art. It's like a piece of artwork.
pair up ahead are just too quick. Oh dear. Well, that's going to be the end of this one. So I do thank everyone for watching and all the Among Uses. All, all the imposters among us for, uh, for joining us for that last race. Just a quick little look at the daily races this week. Wasn't too much. Wasn't too much action, actually. Oh, those race A's were... Uh, very. <laughs> the race A's were definitely chaos-filled, let's put it that way. And then the race C, it's a good combo if you start from the front, but then just getting stuck behind the wrong car is quite frustrating. And race B, well, Dragon Trail Gardens in reverse. Yeah, definitely, um, definitely won't be touching that with a 10-foot pole. Beetle Group 3 with the regional record. Interesting. Takari in the Supra. Oricon. 86 Viper Cayman. Mostly handling cars, although there's a Veyron in there. So fair play to Hills for making that work. Danny Racing with the regional record there. Let's have a quick look. I say quick look, but there's no way I can look at it any quicker than it goes. It's funny how we say, let's have a quick look, but uh, it's got a set amount of time. I can't go any quicker. So I don't want to see what he does here, because, you know, obviously, this is my favourite track, and if I had... If I just had enough time in a given week, maybe I'd time trial this, but uh, I simply don't. Yeah, big chicane cuts there. Rouge cut too. One of those lucky cuts that you get away with. I had one of them in qualifying for the two hour event I did last week. Lucky, very, very lucky corner cut at Turt Rouge. And I cut it less in the race and got a penalty, but I cut it more in qualifying and didn't get a penalty. Well, he just drives in a straight line here. When did he shift to fifth? Halfway, very early. Smitty, oh, Sarth, this is a good track for you. It sure is. <laughs> After last week. Hey, Danny, how's it going? So close to being a pen on that corner. I know. That's what I mean. It's sort of, you can cut it. So, you can cut it, uh, you can cut it so much if you get, if you just get your line dead right, you meet all the requirements, of being able to cross the line that much without triggering the penalty, so, uh, 
yeah, definitely quite good of him to, to get this done. My lap is a world record lap except the last sector. The last sector I lost half a second, goodness me, in the last sector. So, end of the Porsche curves and the Ford chicanes. You don't, you don't mind a good uh, road car time trial, do you, Danny? That's cool. You were going good in Daily Race C before, too. I commented on Ballistic Ben's pace because he was more within reach of me. But sort of no matter what I did, how many mistakes I avoided, I still just couldn't quite catch him to get in slip. So that's why I commented. I wasn't ignoring you, Danny. Of course, you're bloody too fast for me. Oh. The last race pace was EMEA pace. Okay, right. Well, I was only, uh, sort of four and a half-ish seconds off until I made a couple of big errors, including having to serve a penalty. No, that's good, well done. Road car guy. Nice. I definitely think time trial and getting a world record in a road car is a lot harder than getting it in a race car, because the road car moves around a lot more, the gear changes and gear selection's a lot more important. You've got to learn weight control and sort of what the car's gonna do, because it's gonna react and roll around with the softer suspension. You've also got slipperier tyres. So fair play. That's not to take away from race car world records though. Because <laughs> they're still intense in their own ways. Yeah. Good cuts on the last two. This first entry to four chicanes, is this where you lost the time or a bit of it? That handbrake. <laughs> Is that handbrake I spotted? Or am I... Am I seeing things? I'm seeing things. I'm hallucinating! It's the second part. Oh, really? Oh, I guess maybe I can see it. I mean, I'm not sitting here trying to critique you, of course. I've got... quick to me. I'm not saying you're wrong, I just... <laughs> As someone of my pace, I, I'm already... what I'm already looking at what seems to me to be perfection. No, great lap. Very good lap. My, my 4.37 I did in one lap with a penalty. So, uh, I just haven't had time to improve it. But, look, that is going to be the end of the stream. I have work in the morning, so I have to be sensible. I don't want to go to work a zombie. And when someone asked me, what were you doing? Oh, I was just just racing at the Nürburgring. On a screen virtually. So, I'm going to lie down. It's just been an exhausting week for me. Got a long day at work tomorrow. Then one more day off. But I've got plans all day. Plans that night as well. And then work again on Monday and Tuesday. So... Oh dear, I don't even know what content's on the way. Just a bit all over the shop at the moment with not too much free time. Because in a normal week, I probably would have daily raced on Wednesday, made some videos on Thursday, but I don't have those days. And then today I was just recovering from my four days, got a car, 
Got a Smirks car spots post out. A couple more Instagram posts. Had to fix the thumbnail for the video today. Had to make this stream up and do it. I kind of took my whole day, plus chores and stuff, you know. It adds up quick. But that's going to be it. Kiwi, see you later. Sorry I didn't say hello before. I did see you. I sort of realised about five minutes ago. I was like, hang on a minute. I didn't say hello to Kiwi. So hello, Kiwi. And good night, Kiwi. Thanks for dropping in as always. Atom, Tez, uh, Danny, Smitty. Who else jumped in? Get it, Lounsey, GTR. Ballistic Ben even dropped in for a bit. Lapwing. Sam Omega as well. Crazy Oliver. And Rapid. And Inksile. I can't forget Inksile. He dropped in for a bit too. But yeah. I do hope to catch you in the next one. And uh, like I said, I don't know what videos are going to be on the way. But you know me. I'll make the content when I make the content. But yeah. See you later everyone. Thanks for tuning in. So I do thank you very much for watching.